Hippie Vegans Protest North Carolina Fishing Tournament, Get Taught Nasty Lesson. A group of vegan activists descended on the city of Wrightsville Beach, North Carolina, over the weekend to protest a fishing tournament being held there. However, shortly after the hippies arrived with their quirky homemade signs, they were taught a nasty lesson by one of the tournament's no-nonsense organizers. According to Fox News, several vegan activists gathered at a popular fishing tournament to protest eating meat. The Wilmington Fish Save and North Carolina Farmed Animal Save organized the protest, called Vigil for Fish, to raise awareness about animal rights during the annual Wrightsville Beach Inshore Challenge, which pays out over $15,000 in cash and prizes to fishermen. The 10 vegan protesters carried signs reading, Sea Life Not Seafood, Fish Feel Pain, and Fish Want to Live. We're vegan activists, and we want to bring awareness to what fish go through protester Daniel Weber told Set in a painfully stupid statement. Look at it from this fish's point of view. If you were in your home, you would not want a hook to be hooked in the mouth, you would not want to be pulled up, you wouldn't have to fight hours for your life to be pulled up. It's scary. We want to come out for the fish, added Weber. A lot of times, they look so different from us that you don't really put them into a position where you give them individual status where they are actually individuals that want to live. They don't want to be pulled out of the water, fish have families, fish want to live. Weber said he and his fellow protesters simply wanted to make people think about what they're eating. We want to bring awareness to the consumer, said Weber. Is this the correct thing to be doing? Should I be doing this? Should I do a little bit more research and see how intelligent fish are? They have communities and complex social structures. Guy Hurley, an organizer of the fishing tournament, said he respects the protesters who came out over the weekend and is glad we live in a place where you can protest, but he was quick to educate them, explaining that the tournament is not unethical. Far from it, actually. We are very much a conservation-based tournament, said Hurley. In fact, we provide extra payout, anglers can win extra money, if they weigh their fish in alive. So we encourage them not to kill the fish, but to weigh the fish alive. And then they get extra money, and we release the fish. Fishermen, in general, are probably the best stewards of the resource, Hurley added. They care about the resource more than anyone else. I can't speak to perhaps their claims that fish have feelings, that fish have souls. I mean, I'm not sure. Moreover, the Wrightsville Beach Inshore Challenge benefits the Wilmington Elks who invest in their communities through programs that help children grow up healthy and drug-free, by undertaking projects that address unmet need, and by honoring the service and sacrifice of our veterans, according to the tournament's website. Hurley said the tournament also helps feed people in need because much of the fish that is caught is donated. A lot of the fish that we take, we donate to First Fruit Ministries, which is a Wilmington-based food bank that accepts whole fish and then puts it to people in need. We feel good about what we're doing, he remarked. And therein lies perhaps the biggest problem with the vegan argument, if people didn't eat meat and fish, most of the world would starve. But that's not important to these imbeciles. To idiots like Daniel Weber and Zilk, the feelings of fish